Today we will combine Recovery Saturday with Black History Month and talk about a man who inspired millions. He inspired us by his story, his music, and all of the obstacles he had to climb along the way. Today we are talking about none other than Ray Charles. Hi, this is the Libra Man. Let's get right into it. Ray Charles was born on September 23, 1930 in Albany, Georgia. He was the son of Bailey and Aretha Robinson. In his early years, he showed interest in mechanical objects and watched his neighbors work on cars. At the age of three, his interest started going towards music, and he started learning how to play the piano at a very early age. Between the ages of four and five, Charles started to lose his eyesight and by the age of seven to glaucoma, Ray Charles was blind. He was placed in a deaf and blind school from 1937 to 1945. His mother died when he was 14. He never returned to school ever again after her death. In his early years, Charles modeled himself after the great Nat Green Cole. His first four singles were recorded in Tampa, Florida. Although Charles played for other people, he always envisioned one day he would have his own band. At 15, Charles met Quincy Joe. His career then started to take off. Thanks to two hits, Hit the Road Jack and Georgia On My Mind. Georgia On My Mind was such a big hit in 1979, the state of Georgia acclimated it and adopted it as their state song. These two songs won two Grammys each. Charles had long bouts of substance abuse through his entire life at an early age. At 18, he was arrested for marijuana. Later on, he would be arrested for heroin in a Boston airport. He entered rehab to avoid two years of prison. He picked his addiction in 1966. In 2003, Charles had hip replacement surgery. He was then very eager to go back out on the road and tour, but Charles started to have other ailments. And on June 10, 2004, at his Beverly Hills home, Ray Charles died at the age of 73. He was buried on June 18, 2004. B.B. King, Glenn Campbell, Winston Marsalis, and the great Stevie Wonder all played at Charles's room. He had a host of other celebrities that attended. His final album, Genius Loves Company, was released after his death. It won eight Grammy Awards. His discography is highly complex and extensive. It has at least 16 original albums and over 200 compilation albums. That's a lot of Ray Charles experienced and lived things and did more things not being able to see than most people did being able to see. He did not let his physical vision impair him from the vision that he had for his future and for his career. Rest in peace, Ray. If you like anything I said in the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. And until next time, the Libra Man.